Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Krista. I create motivational cleaning videos just for you, and today is one of the best ones yet. I'll be tackling our bathrooms as well as organizing my daughter's closet. And stick around because today I need your help. So let's get started. Okay, here is my to-do list today. And you'll see my house upstairs is a wreck. We have had so much going on this summer. This has been the busiest summer, I think, of our lives. So we just have been letting things go or we have been trying to keep up as much as we can and it's just so much that we're struggling. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this done today. I need to clean the master bath, the kids bath, the half bath downstairs as well needs to be touched up for sure. Blake's bed, need to put a um, mattress topper on the bottom bunk. And then I need to put all of like the five loads of laundry I did this week, put it away. Uh, girls closet organizers need to hang and then I'd like to make my bed as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so tip number one when cleaning the bathrooms, I always clean the countertops off first, and then you'll see I work from top to bottom. So why I do, I clean off the countertops first is because when I'm cleaning my mirrors, all of that spray normally just falls onto, you know, the countertops and whatever's on your countertop, like your toothbrushes or anything that you put on your face. And yes, it's a cleaning product, but you may not want it on your toothbrush like that. So I just go ahead and quickly clean off the countertops and then you'll see I clean the mirrors and then I just work my way down. Even I'll even wipe down um, the front of the cabinets um, and I'll just work my way down all the way like that. Okay, so I had some of this Barkeeper's Friend, it's like the, um, just the powder uh, in my laundry room and I found it and it says it works great in bathrooms for porcelain or anything like that. So I'm trying it out on my toilets as well as in my sinks. Um, they're kind of grimy, it might not, you know, might not be able to tell that from this angle, but they had some toothpaste and just whatever was in there and it worked so well. So all I did was wet the sink and then I put the barkeeper spray and just sprinkled it all in there, wet my brush as well, and then I scrubbed it all good. Um, it didn't take very long at all to do that, but I wanted to get it like really deep cleaned. So then I just washed it out with the water after that.
Okay, I am not sure what that is. It was coming off with the window spray I had, but it was taking a lot of effort and a long time to get that, to try to get that off. So I'm gonna try maybe some Goo Gone or something like that, see if I can get that off, because I don't know. I don't know if maybe Blake got into the caulk gun or like where we had caulked the bottom of it and it was still wet and he decided to touch it. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm gonna have to figure it out though because we gotta get that off of our brand new shower doors. Hmm. Okay, a little update for you that you just saw that I could not get whatever that was on the shower doors off. Um, after I finished filming this video, my husband took a razor blade to it and was able to clean it all off. And I was so happy, but he did say that it must have been some kind of uh, silicone or caulk or something on there. But thankfully it came off very easily. Okay guys, this is where I need your help. Um, I know there's a lot of things in this house that still need to be hung up, which we haven't been here for long, but I still need to get this done. But this is a, a piece of, um, I don't even know what you call it. It's like a painless window that I bought from an antique market years ago. It was hanging above my toilet in the master bathroom in my old house and I loved it there. I put a wreath on there and it looked really cute. But for this bathroom, I'm not quite sure I want it there. So if you could please help me out, comment below. Do you like it? Do you not like it? If you have to rewind and watch it again, just help me decide because obviously it's like a creamier white and everything else you could see is bright white in there. So I'm not sure if I'm crazy about it or should I just, you know, try to put it somewhere else. You help me decide, please comment below and let me know what you think. So as you can see, the bathroom is clean. Looks so good, it smells amazing because of the pine saw. I'm not going in there because the floors are still wet, but amazing. Uh, if you missed it, I did have to pick up the rugs, shake them off, that's why there was so much dust. I could not believe how much I swept up. But all of it is done and I'm happy. Okay, now we're moving into the kids' bath. And if you're new here, watching these videos for the first time, 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know, the past couple of videos, I've tried to share just a fun fact about me, just so you can get to know me, and in hopes that you would comment as well, um, so that I can get to know you as well. So, um, another fun fact, I guess, is what you would call it, um, and some of you may already know this if you're a returning viewer, I was a teacher. I um, am, lic am licensed in the state of Tennessee to teach kindergarten through fourth, no, sixth grade, but then highly qualified to teach fourth through eighth grade as well. Um, math happens to be my favorite subject to teach. I just love it. I love that it's pretty much black and white and that's how I like things. Um, but I have taught other subjects like um, second grade phonics and reading and all of that too. Um, and I do miss it, but that's not the reason I'm telling you this. The reason I'm telling you this is because this is where I learned not only that I have a gift for motivating others, but that also, what am I trying to say? I don't just have a gift, but also how to use my gift. I do believe that I was given a gift to motivate others. And I was told that by multiple principals who observed me as a teacher and um, would score me high in the rubric that they used to score teachers. And um, it was always high in motivating students to do the work, to learn. And so even though I'm not teaching, I still feel the need to help others get motivated to do things that maybe they don't even want to do or maybe that they do. Um, and so I'm still using that skill, I feel like, to help you all. Um, so if you don't mind commenting on here and letting me know your name, where you're from, you know, anything like that, I'd love to get to know you all as well.
Okay, so my battery had died while I was cleaning the tub in here and I went to go and replace it with the spare one, but the spare one, I thought it was fully charged, but apparently it wasn't because it died pretty quickly. So had to wait for a little bit to get this all charged up and you can see the kids bathroom is so clean. It smells amazing in here and we're good looks good okay these are the organizers I bought from Amazon I'm going to put these together and try to get them hung up on the girls closet store uh, closet doors and then try to get those organized and then I'm going to hang up all of the laundry that I've already cleaned, folded, everything. I'm going to put it all into their closet. Okay, so here I am just taking all of Ridley's bows out and I'm organizing them based on their color. And here you'll notice Sophie started to help me with the bows, but then decided she needed to help me with my filming as well. So she went to go get our little baby monitor camera and she sat down there and tried to get the right angle. You can see her looking at the camera as well. And then later on, you didn't see it, but she, she came in there and she asked mommy, mommy, can you please help me make a list? And then I heard her go back in her room and sit in front of the camera there and pretend that she had her own YouTube channel, which I thought was absolutely adorable. Rising up like phoenixes I'm tired of pushed down the ground Speaking my heart like it really the shoe organizer uh, for Ridley side I've got all the bows up here except for like the really big ones or those that like cover her whole head um, I put those like back in back in there for now until I can find like something better a better place to put them but this is what I've got right now I've done this before with Sophie's bows when she was little and I'm hoping it's going to be okay that I'll like it. If not, I'll have to find some other kind of method to hold them all. But we just have so many bows that I went ahead and color corded, coordinated them. And so if I'm looking for a specific color, I'm not going to dig all through there. What I'll do is I'll just probably pull like one section out, look for it, and put it back. Which I think will still help me and 
save me a little time by doing that than looking for a specific color like with all of them in there like they used to be. So if that can save me even just a little bit of time, it'll work. It also gives me more closet space as well for other things. But I did that and then I've got some shoes down here for her and even some open pockets for more shoes later. But that's what I have for her side. Now let's do Sophie's. Okay, you'll see this little rainbow thing that I'm holding here. I actually just ordered that from Amazon and I was so excited for it to come. Um, what it is, it's just a little like rainbow, but it has got, it's got ribbons hanging from it to hang hair bows on, like those, just the clips. And I thought, oh, what a great idea. Until I started filling it up and you'll see how many bows we actually have on there. Um, and it just got overcrowded and you'll see that I struggle getting the clips off of the rainbow thing and so it's just not going to work the way I wanted it to. We just have way too many bows and that thing was not as big as I wanted it or needed it to be. And so I think we're just going to actually, I took everything off and put it in those organizers, but then I think I'm just going to hang up the, the rainbow as a decoration on her wall. Okay, so sorry, I am not sure what's happening with my camera. It's just not focusing on some things. I don't know if it's the mesh that's messing this up or what, but I'm gonna try to show you all Sophie's side of the ribbons. She had, or I meant not ribbons, um, bows, hair bows. Um, I just organized those the same way I did rids, but you can tell she has way more clips. And most of hers, well, she has more mostly because sometimes we'll do like, two ponytails or you know just um like the double buns or whatever so some of these are just duplicated bows that we've ordered and you probably think oh that's way too much but honestly we get our money's worth out of these um she wears them almost every day um especially if she's going to like when we were doing like school um she did a pre-k or a kindergarten camp here recently and she loves to wear these she's she loves her bows so we get our money's worth out of them and most of them come from amazon in case you're wondering we just get them in a big huge set and a lot of them will have like the spring colors like you can see the spring green but then they also come with the olive for fall so it works out. We love them, but that's what hers looks like. And now I'm just going to fill up what I can in the bottom for her shoes. Not sure if you can tell just yet but look at how much space that freed up I did put a pair of uh, boots here I'm not sure if Sophie's gonna be able to fit in those this fall and winter but I'm just gonna leave them out 
but I got a little more space there on that shelf there and if I if I decide that Ridley's just not wearing those other little I don't know what you call them bonnets I don't know then I'll change that out but it took all that room there off the floor and it just looks so much neater and organized so now I'm just gonna put some clothes on hangers and put all the girls clothes away closet is finished it looks so good um i know a lot of you are probably thinking oh my goodness why does she color coordinate everything it's not just what i feel is like some ocd i do feel like it saves me time when picking out the girls clothes for each day um so if you may say i want to wear yellow today and she can just go in there and pick it out or i can it's just so much easier to find things and it's appealing. I love looking in a closet and it looks like this. So that's why I do it. It makes me happy. And it looks so good right now. <laughs> okay, now I'm just in Blake's room. Yes, it's a little messy, um, but I'm not gonna clean it up. He'll do that since it's summertime and he's off and he has time. But I'm just hanging up some clothes um, that will go in his closet. And then you'll see here in just a second, I'm taking his bedding off and I'm washing his sheets and getting all of that cleaned because my mom is planning to come and stay with us for a little while. Um, so she brought, she bought a mattress topper and I hope it's comfy enough for her. She likes a pretty soft bed. Um, but she bought that for the bottom bunk for her to stay in um, while she's here. So I hope it makes a difference. Um, but you'll see I'm just putting that on and I did not replace the sheets because uh, I'm going to go ahead and wash those.
Okay, so since the last time you all saw my closet, I did something that I said I probably wouldn't do, but I did it anyways. I organized my husband's side. It was driving me way too crazy. Um, I was getting frustrated with myself because I felt like I needed to pick up everything that he would just keep right here. Well, honestly, I would put it down here and I would think, oh, he's going to have time to put it up later and we he just didn't have the time. And I got frustrated trying to find where to put things up, like hang them up and put them. So I went ahead and I told him I was going to go ahead and do it and he was perfectly fine with it. So hopefully it can stay this way because I just have, you know, his work, work clothes, his uh, Under Armour shirts that he likes. Then we have some just regular good shirts and he has his um, shirts that he wears just to work in like around the house. And then... He's got church clothes after that and then there's some winter clothes like in the very back but then i put good jeans there he's got some white t-shirts there good uh cargo shorts there and then some under armor shorts right there and then he's got just some little things right there as well most of that stuff right there is all like work clothes or anything like he can just get dirty so we just have it all folded up right there for him to put up but i am very happy with how it turned out so now I've just got to fill this closet back up with the clothes that are finally clean and on hangers. Okay, this is about it for this video. Um, I just wanted to hop back on here and uh, ask you to please like, comment, subscribe, whatever it is. Um, if you liked this video, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe. Also, I have a an Instagram account as well where um, every time I post a video, I will post it in my reels or on my page. I'll set countdowns and reminders. So if you like that, please go over there and follow me. You can find the link to that at the top of my YouTube page. Just click on it. It'll take you directly to my Instagram account. But as always, thank you so much, guys. Okay, so closet is finished. Everything is where it should be, and that feels awesome. Okay, I had actually already made the bed while my battery was charging so that I could go ahead and just lay out all the clothes and that way it would be much easier to put them away. So I went ahead and made the bed and that's why I checked it off earlier. And then let's go ahead and look. Oops. Let's see, we did the master bath check, kids bath check. I'm not going to have time to do the a uh, half bath downstairs because we are fixing to get ready and go like please stop we are fixing to go to uh blake's baseball banquet so i will save that for later we put the thing on blake's bed excuse my nails please uh put all the clothes away did that where did my pen go here's one okay and then let's see girls closet organizers done to make bed that is it yay i would say that was pretty good because that pretty much took me all day to do so that was awesome thank you all so much for watching another video i hope this gave you the motivation you need to get your to-do list done and as always have a very blessed day